That's not ironic. Right. Oh yeah, that's not ironic. Right. <laughs> I thought I just took a picture. Okay, I'm trying to do a video. All right, so I just got the ducklings out, and here comes Spud. Spud, you want to see the ducklings? We, it's kind of dark in here. Yeah, Spud, come check them out. What is that? Ducklings, yes. Hmm? I'm not so sure about those little guys. Hmm. And I was not expecting them until tomorrow. So Henry had to come and put this brooder up because I was going to do it today. I asked for updates, you know, via the text message, the tracking, and I just got one message that a label had been created, and I, then I just got another another message the next day saying they're in Moscow. <laughs> so it just got me off guard because I thought it was going to take two days to get here from Tennessee. So I just took them out, and um, I did shove them under the heater. But you can see they're really gathering around the, there's water in that. Um, it's a, technically it's a feeder, I guess, but in that orange feeder. So I like to put water in it when they're small because see, they, they, they can't get in there. Luckily, they're big enough, they can't actually get their bodies in there because they keep trying to jump in there. So they can get some water but not get totally soaking wet. I'm definitely going to have to come back out in a couple hours and fill it up because really um, drinking, drinking and drinking, which is good. It's a good thing. Oh. It's a mini ducky. And then, of course, got food here, but they're not so interested in that. 30 ducklings. And there was exactly one 30, and they sent 30. So. Help this one out. It seems to be... Come on, little one. Why don't you go under the heat? I don't know. I think one of the other ducklings is just pecking at its eye or something. Okay, little ones. I'm going to go. Now I have to put the chicks in. Oh, get the chicks out of their box. Okay, bye little ducklings. They're very active. That's a good sign. 